wouldn't it be great if we could use emojis to actually track how students are feeling about coming into class. Now we can give the we can ask the kids to fill in a form like this or a spreadsheet like this where we say, look, in here, just drop in a number between one and five about how you're feeling. Now that's okay, but it's not quite as accessible for students because a number between one and five doesn't help. What if we could use an emoji? Now, inside a Google Sheet, you can drop an image into any cell, which sounds pretty cool. But the other kind of added benefit of this is that if we do drop a picture into a cell, we can use it in a spreadsheet like we would with any number or any formula or any calculation. So let's pretend that we've got, say, some emojis. Now we can go to an emoji site like this. So we can just copy any of these by going right mouse click, highlighting it, going right mouse click and going copy. And then we can paste it into our spreadsheet which means that we could come back to our spreadsheet and drop a smiley face into here or a grumpy face into here with, to let these students tell us how they're feeling about their day. But what's a better way of doing it? A better way of doing it is with a drop-down list. So let me come across to my demo data page. So here I have some student reaction. I've already cut and pasted these emojis for me. And what I'd like to do is have these appear in a drop-down list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight these like this, and I might put another kind of couple of bits there. I'm gonna color it a little bit so I can remember what I've got in my drop-down list. And then up the top here, I'm just gonna change this to STU, oh, let's go lowercase, STUD underscore, oops, come back again, STUD underscore react. Okay, so now if I type in the word STUD underscore react, that's gonna look for this range of data, which is pretty cool. All right, now you might be going, what's he on about? How's this gonna help? Let me show you. Let's jump back to this page over here. Let's come into here and let's go data. Come down to data validation. And in here it says grab a list from a range. And now we have got a list from a range, which is our emojis on the other page. So instead of highlighting that list, all we have to do is type in stud underscore react, and it will go and grab those emojis from there. So if we highlight this now, see how those emojis appear? And we can drop it into our page. Now that's working fantastically. So let's highlight this down like this, beautiful. And let's go like this. And now we've got a check-in page with all these emojis for all our students. How cool is that? Now, one last thing. Remember I said that any emoji can be taken as like a number inside a spreadsheet? So let's pretend we just wanna find out whether the students are upset. So whether they're on these last ones here. So they're on the angry one and the upset one. And if they're like that, we wanna be given a really quick way of being able to see that you know, based on the condition. So if they're upset, we wanna change the color of a cell to match that. As a teacher, I wanna be able to see that really quickly. So we can do conditional formatting. And normally we do conditional formatting based on a word or a number inside Excel. But remember, we can use an icon or an emoji as like it's a number. So let's highlight all of these. Come to Format. Come down to Conditional Formatting. And over here, we wanna say, if cell, is equal to, and inside here we go equals, and I'm gonna come and grab that picture of the upset face in here. I'm just gonna come up to the top where my cursor is up here, and I'm gonna go come in here and highlight this there, go control C, come back to my other page over here, oops. Come into here, go is equal to, now go equals, and then put the quotation marks, paste that emoji into there. And what we want to do is color that a red color like that and go done. Now it says, do you want to add another rule? Well, I'd like to, because I want to grab that upset one as well. So let's go add another rule. It grabs the same cell reference. We're going to come into here. We're going to go is equal to, now I'm going to jump to the other page. That's so probably going to jump me out of here. I'm going to come and grab the upset face in there. Copy it. Let's come back to here. 
Open this one back up again. Equal to, remember we go equals, then put the quotation marks, drop the image in there, and let's come and make it the same red, which I reckon is that one there, and go done. And now, if any of our kids fill in anything that is those ones there, we will see that they are either upset or angry, and we can actually address that really quickly by scanning our entire group of students in here, and we'll be able to see at a snapshot what all our kids are feeling because we've used emojis to put it in there, and then we've used conditional formatting to format that cell to highlight it that Johnny here on Monday is a bit angry and upset, and we can talk to him about that. Super cool, super fun, all built into Google Sheets using an emoji.